How's it going everybody? I'm IGP and welcome back to 60 Seconds. We're gonna go ahead and jump into another run here, just a normal adventure run, trying to uncover all of what the What's in the Suitcase DLC has to offer. Now we've seen a lot of it, but uh, we haven't seen that new ending, which is something I want to try to get. I don't know actually how to get it. I think the siblings event might have something to do with that. Maybe they help rescue us or give us a new home. I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at the house, see what we got here. Radio's in there. Okay, we need the Boy Scout book. That is... Underneath there, uh, let's go in this room, this has a lot of good stuff, including my wife. <laughs> let's get the suitcase, that's important. Okay, yeah, so we're just gonna do a standard run, trying to get all the family, uh, whatever's important right now. Uh, let's gather Mary Jane's, and she takes up three slots, you fat shit. Um, could use the map, uh, the water, and Dolores. We'll drop you in here, look at that happy family on the wall. Such a lie. Alright, let's grab the book, Timmy. And I feel like the grabbing mechanic is a lot easier to use now. Alright, uh, we do need weapons, so let's take the gun, uh, and then two food, and then we'll go back. Um, definitely need water somewhere. What else do I need? Let's get the axe, uh, the first aid kit. Okay, now I can just focus on food. I think I have enough. I actually didn't get the gas mask. Where the hell is that? Uh, bug spray works. Water. We're gonna send people out on excavations anyway. Uh-oh. 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 Ah oh, shit, I didn't make it. Oh, no! I didn't get the gas mask, though. And if I have it in my pockets, does that count? Does that count? I don't know. I don't know if it does. Anyway, guys, if you have an idea for a challenge, by the way, I want to do more than just the regular runs. If you guys have an idea for challenges, including the new rule possibilities with the new DLC, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see what would you guys come up with as far as challenges. So, all right, we got a bunch of stuff here. Actually, it's really well stocked. Uh, not so much for food and water, but hopefully we, we bring the suitcase uh, and it gives us a map and stuff we can actually do better. Also, the padlock, I was told that the padlock can be used that if I'm by myself, like if Ted's the only one left, uh, if I'm by myself, I can secure my house when I leave and then come back and it'll be fine. Because the reason why you die or you fail is because people come and intrude and take all your shit. Anyway, all of us made to the shelter. Family's safe. Everyone's going to stay sane for the most part. We opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. We can't really say what we recall putting all these supplies down here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. We got a checkerboard, and uh, we found a deck of cards in the suitcase. So I guess that's good, help keep our sanity even further. <sighs> so we're full of cans, plenty of water, best sh stocked shelter ever. Best shelter, shelter. Alright. Nobody is going to be hunger or thirsty on the first day. Surprisingly, it's like we all ate and drank right before the bomb went off. Apparently. Totally fine. Alright. So let's see. How can we strategize or strategically plan this run so that way we can survive? I don't know. I kind of want to do the siblings event more than anything, but I don't know how to do that. I know I needed weaponry, uh, and I needed to make sure I had a flashlight and a first aid kit, I think, because somebody comes back hurt. Anyway, stop talking. Let's do this. Uh, I'm moving a bit too bad. Everyone's fine. We're going to send Timmy out again. Now, there's nothing more annoying than silence and that we're getting our radio. Oh my god, really? Are you really gonna break the radio <laughs> right off the bat? No, you're gonna fix it. Good job. Good job. So proud of you guys. <laughs> Alright, we did what we could, but the steel can't hear a damn thing. Oh, damn it. Uh, everybody needs water. Okay, uh, I don't know if I should send, should send anybody out, but honestly, it's it'll be fine. Take an axe with you. Actually, don't take anything with you right now. Don't take anything. We're just gonna go gather, gather supplies. I'm gonna save all that stuff for when the siblings come around. Because I want to find out what they do. For me. You know, that's it's selfish intent. Saving them because I know they'll give me stuff. Alright. One foot in the grave. Everyone's fine. I can't really follow that five day rule past day 15. I noticed that. Okay. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like someone or something. Let's use the gun. Please don't blow it up. I need that. Yes. Good. Alright. Well done there, Ted. Whatever it was, it's dead now with the non-bullets we have. Keeps fainting. Yeah, everyone's fine. Okay. Regular family. Timmy, come back soon. Sometimes he comes back in two days and it makes me happy because then he doesn't get sick. And whatever. I should have sent him... Where are we on this map? You know what I mean? Like, is that us? I don't know. We're in the neighborhood. Because I remember the intro was like, Who's Ted? Part of a tranquility lane. All right. More important things to worry about. Uh, Reggie's quite hungry. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Eh, food at day eight. It's fine. 
Stay away from casinos, gambling. Alright, let's take the gamble because we need some water. Please don't take all my stuff. Okay, we got it. Good, good. Oh yeah, we won that. Two bottles of water. Excellent. Use a little food. Everyone's pretty hungry. Okay. Alright, there's so many things you could do in a tiny bunker. Yeah. I don't know how to do the siblings event, guys. If you have any idea how to do it, I'm totally all ears. Now, it's not really a spoiler anymore. I already know that it exists. So, if you guys want to tell me how to do it, I can try in the next one. Or, you know, try out a, uh, an, uh, a, a challenge here. Okay, play hide and seek. Longest round we were able to play last for 10 seconds. And that was only because lights were out for a moment. Let me take a sip of coffee real quick. Mm. Oh, don't you guys love hearing me drink? Isn't that just fantastic? Alright, has to drink sometimes. Or is water when Ted needs it? Uh, that one's fine. Two more days. Making safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there. Yeah, I suppose. Although your sanity gets driven down into the ground. <sighs> I know I would. I wouldn't want to be down in the bunker. I'd probably be out scavenging and being a dick. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yeah, we're fine. We'll do it. Yes. I guess that was just like a little tease at the beginning. Like, oh, your radio may not work. Yay! Timmy is very sick. We'll use the med kit on him. He'll be fine. Okay, but he didn't get back a gas mask. That's what I was hoping he'd bring. Was a gas mask. And he also didn't bring any food. What am I missing that he actually brought? He didn't bring water. What the hell did he bring? We will need a weak signal tap, but we were so afraid of Timmy's back. First thing to, to fall in time of crisis is, is... Wait, is order. If they were walking next to the police station, it turned out to be still operating. Excellent. So I got one can of food. That's it? Timmy. Bro, I am so disappointed in you right now. Why would you do this to me? I'm gonna die. We're all gonna die now. Timmy, it's all your fault. You are the reason. You are the reason why this nuke. You, you, you are the reason why this nuke dropped, and why we're gonna die because of it. It's terrible. Terrible. You should. You should. You should just go. You should just go, Timmy. I'm not even gonna waste my med kit on you. Man, this is horrible. <laughs> I'm talking to a kid here. It's not real, guys. Calm down. Lords will survive without water. Yeah, everyone needs water. Timmy, I know you need to eat. Timmy, go ahead and take my med kit. It's fine. Because I need you to run. Okay, ring ring. Ah, yes. Go Mary Jane. <laughs> you worthless. Redundant. Oh, yeah, Everyone's fine. Well, you're a little tired, right? Yeah, that's fine. When we answer the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, I think that's a mistake. I think they know where I'm at now. We had started- okay, something must have been going on this side. Okay, something- uh, I don't know if that means that we had already given them our address. I don't think is happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning from shelter to the surface. Okay. Uh, who wants a drink? Wait, who needs drink? Mary Jane, he's fainting? I thought you- oh, I guess it's from that expedition. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, everyone needs to eat tomorrow. Mary Jane, you need to drink water. Cool. Okay. Uh, we'll send Mary Jane out, I guess. I don't know. What's that trick? Oh, fucking son of a bitch. Save the radio. God. <sighs> oh no. It's so stupid. Hate this. Okay, so we lost a deck of cards and a map because of that. Fine today. Hopefully we'll stay that way. Timmy is very hungry. Oh, it's fine. Alright. Uh, we could do... Uh, no gas mask. Not not doing it. I don't have a fucking med kit to heal people if they get thick. <sighs> Loris looking scowl as ever. Diet could use a little food. Very hungry. Not eating for a while. Yeah, everyone's pretty hungry. God. All right, uh, we'll set up for one. Yeah. Thank God we saved that. Next is gonna be like, well, we're the military. We think you guys should go to this specific location. If you had a, if you had a map with you, maybe everybody should have a map. Mhm. Mm All right, we make contact. Military's out there. Yeah, Mary Jane, something to drink. Um, no, they're gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine. Nobody's going outside today. No gas mask. I don't know how I'm gonna get one if I don't send somebody out. Alright, well, everybody's getting water today, and then I'm just gonna give you water whenever you're thirsty, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not trusting it, day 17, Timmy ran away last time. Not cool with that. Okay, trash cans are becoming foul. Boy Scout, not the bug spray this time, please. Because the Boy Scout handbook is gonna make sure to stay there. It persists through every event. 
Dodge a bullet this time, that is, if a bullet was a huge hairy, had eight legs, and a glowing head. <sighs> Alright, Mary Jane's feeling safe. Best behavior. You're fine. Alright. In time we chose someone to scavenge the remains out of our town. There's supplies. Uh, nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay. Um. Let's see. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Timmy seems okay, as much as he can be in the current situation. Thanks, Senator Dolores. <sighs> what a boring day. What a boring few days. You guys are boring. Okay, we can barely breathe this damn show. For the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeably worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Boy Scout. <laughs> Boy Scout handbook saves all. Mm. You can also use that fixed map if you ever want to. Give yourself some more uh, med kits. Oh, he's sick. Fuck. From what? Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured it was full of pointers on how to fix things. Must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration systems. Before we could even check, we were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects which flew out of the cursed vent. Their stings hurt like hell. Seems to give us a fever. Oh, shit. Getting some of the drink. Fuck. God damn it. Everyone. Oh, this is so dumb. <laughs> Go, Mary Jane. I don't care. I do not care anymore. Come back sick. Make everyone else sick. Did the sickness spread? Like, if, if Ted is sick, will she get sick? They have to be fucking here, okay? Somewhere in the shelter, they have to be doing it. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy is very hungry. Loris is fine. Everyone's hungry. Eat. I don't even care anymore. It's so easy to escalate silly arguments. Uh, I just don't- I don't know if the five-day rule works. Why are you coughing? You're not sick. Ted is sick. Look at that nose. We're done fighting for how long? Timmy's on his best behavior. Everyone's fine. Okay. One water in exchange for a checkerboard. As a matter of fact, I should take that deal. I don't need this checkerboard anymore. Uh, yeah. I'll, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the water. Yay! Oh, Timmy's all better. Look at him. Happy Timmy. Nothing's going on with Dolores. Okay, some water for Timmy would be nice. And we'll wait a few more days for that. Uh... Strangers still? No. Uh, two for the book? Nah. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, duh. Thank you, duh. Alright, Ted, when are you gonna kill over? I think his eyes get redder, too. Anyway, he refused to trade. Hopefully... Terrible shape. Water. And water. God, this is terrible. I know you're thirsty and all, but... Timmy running out on day 17. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright. Might be good today. <sighs> that was a good scout. Uh, make it the best. Uh, yeah, okay. Nothing important is going on. Okay, shine your boots and hoist the flag. The army on the radio again? Hell yeah, son. We might damn well get rescued, son. That'd be nice. Please bring back a med kit, Mary Jane, if you're out there and can hear me for some reason. <gasps> Yay, we did it. See if they get back to us. Anyway. If there's any report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. Uh, that one's fine. Excellent. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, check. Strange noises in our pipes. Check. Hello, she yells outside, huh? Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. Oh, shit. Yeah, she hasn't really done anything. Except <laughs> use up all of our resources. She's fine. You are not sick. You got a gas mask, too. You're so awesome. Can we use the bug spray to clean ourselves because she's so dirty? And then that would make everyone not sick anymore as well. Hopefully that bug still exists. Thank you, developers. Anyway, now the mess happening inside of Jamie James, by a rather calm demeanor, Timmy got into a few fights before the apocalypse. Hmm. <laughs> he beat up Ethan. Let's get to the war and to hell. During a trip, we found their house and knocked on the door, but nobody answered. We decided to go and investigate. It came two waters out of that. A big, nicely furnished bedroom with an antique wooden closet. You must have been big fans of costume parties. Sweet! Okay, so Mary Jane, I know you're hungry and thirsty. Everyone else should be thirsty, too. Uh, everyone can wait on food, I guess. Uh, who go outside? Anonymous known next door is shelter door. wrote a request that we send one representative to a meeting tonight in a set location. Yeah. It's probably a mistake. Probably a mistake. But. Totally fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's great. Excellent. It's true. It's all true. They really are others just like us. We arrived at the rendezvous, unarmed. And on time, and we were greeted by a friendly-looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins, a brother and a sister who seem to be friendly enough. They asked us some questions and promised to stay in touch. Sweet. Okay, so that's the beginning of the event. So we were afraid for Timmy, but he came back to the wasteland and is safe with us now. Okay. He's quite hungry. 
Timmy is very hungry. Everybody's pretty hungry. Okay, so you guys can eat, and that's all our food, okay? We're almost dead. <laughs> we should go outside. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map uh, on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew a route marked a spot at the end of it. Maybe there are supplies hidden there. Go, Timmy. Go be our guinea pig for everything. Hopefully, you come back and get rescued with the military with us. Uh oh. Uh oh. Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible. <laughs> What? I knew there was a drawback to that. <laughs> the fuck? This treasure hunt actually turned out to be fun despite taking place. What? More importantly, though, it was successful. We managed to find a small package. So I don't get it. If he's gone and he didn't make it back, why did we find the package? That's strange. It's very strange. Ted is still sick. Yeah, I get it. But what? Okay, we're gonna have to send. We're gonna have to send Dolores out. Okay, remember that time Mary Jane went out? Ah, shit. Nope, not wasting it. Not wasting it. I don't care. I need that for the siblings event. Yeah, I know you're thick with infection, you dirty. You're disgusting. All right. Dude, she is so gross when she's sick. Uh, it's like, hey, you have an ugly cry face. You have an ugly sick face, sicky. Mary Jane will be fine. It's not the first time, and it won't be the last time she's sick. She's going to be pale today, though. Mm, all that blood loss. Die could use a little food. Mm. Drink, drink. Okay, so everyone needs a drink. Alright, who should go outside? Let's send, let's send Dolores out, because... Uh, we'll give you the... Suitcase... Uh, the gas mask... Uh, that, and the flashlight. Please return with all this. Please return with all this. My plan to have the whole family rescued is foiled anyway, so if you break something, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I still have a gun, though, as a weapon. So, in case I need to defend the siblings, I got this. Got this! Alright, Dolores took her stuff. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Yeah, I know. I know, I don't have anything though. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Where did that green puddle come from? Fix it with the boy scout book. I never understood also, when we're scavenging for items, when the radio says pick up an item, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm gonna need it? Like, oop, I bumped the mic. Uh, does that mean that I'm gonna need it like... It knows exactly what's gonna happen? Is it a... Predicting what's gonna happen? That's fantastic. Problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tiny little shelter. Great. Yeah, I know you're hungry, but they ain't got no poop. Die! Didn't utter a single word. Yeah, because you're dying. It's terrible. I mean, what would you do if you're like a 12 year old girl about to die? I know what I'd do. I would eat. But I had no food. Sorry. Alright, so nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. Wait, we don't have the la- Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> what? Ted is hungry now. Uh, everyone's fine. Yeah, we'll do in one more day for a drink, and we'll be good. Unless Ted kills over and she runs away because she's not getting water. Oh fuck! <laughs> I was so right. Well, he died from his sickness. Ted's been sick for far too long, and he was too weak to keep going. He passed away in his sleep. It's so depressing, guys. Okay, so Mary Jane, let's try to keep you alive while Dolores is out. Oh, <gasps> uh, that bug spray is just standing. Yes. Yes! And use it on yourself for the next day. Yes. Dolores is back and not sick, so now we can make Mary Jane better. Excellent. Okay, so we have the get. We lost the suitcase. That sucks. But we got the weapon back and the gas mask. Good. Whew. Quite a long walk from my house to the docks. We knew of a promising warehouse in the area. We survived the blast. Okay, we got bullets. We do not have a flashlight anymore. It's broken. But at least you brought it back. And apparently the suitcase is not something we can actually repair with the Boy Scout book. That's fine. I don't know how it would break, honestly, but whatever. And why would you need that to carry stuff? Like, I can have a flashlight in one hand, an axe in the other, the gas mask on, and then a map in my pocket, and it would be fine. Why do I need a suitcase for that? A suitcase, too. It's not like a rucksack. It's stupid. Alright, everyone drink. You get med kit. Excellent. And we'll send, uh, we'll send Mary Jane out for an expedition tomorrow. Military is communicating through the radio again. Yes! Oh, we might damn well get rescued, guys. <laughs> we might. This will be the third event. Okay, so she's not sick anymore, but damn, is she disgusting. She's starving as well. Everyone's starving. We don't have food. Okay, let's see if Mary Jane can make it outside. Is she thirsty? No. Okay. See if she can make it outside with the gas mask and bring back some food, please. For yourself, as well. I mean, because I don't want her to be here if she dies from starvation. I mean, they're both starving, so I guess it doesn't matter. But she's been hungry for longer. 
Okay, Laura says she needs strength lift. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Fuck. <laughs> nope, we're not gonna get survived. We're not gonna survive. That's fine. Drink some water. Twins are back and they need our help again. They're getting pretty big. It's time to start building a small camp of their own. They're asking for meds. Yeah, I don't have a med kit. Sorry. It's it's over anyway. She's dead. Nope. Wow. I'm proud of you. You said you wouldn't last till morning. We would have. Uh, Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Yeah, you told me that yesterday. Maybe the water will keep you going. We we're about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of the wasteland? How in the hell did he survive nuke? Open up. Maybe it's somebody who's nice enough to give you some food, huh? Can you not tell she's starving? Do you see her bony cheeks? Fuck. She died. Oh, <gasps> we got soup to what? Why didn't you eat it when they gave it to you? Turned out it was a nice mysterious fellow in a weird suit, and he gave us some soup cans. That's what I said it could be. You fucking dumbass. Eat it. Oh my god. I was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. Well, Mary Jane's fucking dead anyway. Whatever. God, that was so stupid. Come on. We could have survived, man. Could have survived. We did so many events. Uh-oh. Oh, they got a fanfare. That's nice. I like that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any ideas for challenges, I'd love to do them. I've already beaten the game on both the harder difficulties. I mean, there's no point in being uneasy. I mean, I guess. Just to say I did it. Anyway, if you have a challenge with the new rule possibilities, like with the suitcase and stuff, I definitely like to hear what you guys can come up with. In the comment section below, leave your suggestion. If you see one that has already been posted about something you want to see, just upvote it. Don't post another comment. And of course, if you see one that you really like, make sure you leave it an upvote. So that way all the good ones come up to the top and I can see them and we can roll them out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.